Slish splash, I was taking a bath. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm sharing with you another fall recipes video. These are going to be some crock pot recipes that are super easy, similar to dump and go. There's just a few extra things you need to do in these, but like I said, they're so easy, perfect for the beginner cook and they're both soups. One of them is a copycat recipe, so I know you're going to love it. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. I would love to have you stick around and subscribe. I have started doing videos like this on my channel every single Sunday, and if you enjoy that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this video. Also, if you like to shop from the comfort of your home home, because we do that a lot around here as well, make sure you also subscribe. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay, so for today's recipe, we are going to make a copycat recipe of Olive Garden's chicken and gnocchi soup. I'm so excited. This is my favorite soup that they have. So all you're gonna need is about three chicken breasts, three to four chicken breasts. You want about a pound of chicken. You're gonna need some chicken broth, heavy whipping cream or half and half. I like to use heavy whipping cream because it makes it just a little bit creamier. You're gonna need some ground thyme. You're also gonna need minced garlic. You're gonna need about a half of a white onion, some celery, potato gnocchi, and you're also going to need about a half a cup of shredded carrots and of course, spinach. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is that you wanna chop up your celery. You wanna kinda of chop it up a little more fine than you might usually chop it up. And then we're gonna go ahead and take all of this celery and go ahead and add it in to the crock pot with our chicken. And then you're only gonna need about half of an onion. So I'm going to just chop this onion up however I please. All right, so now I'm going to take my chopped onion and just put it right into the crock pot with the celery and the chicken. And of course, I'm gonna make a mess. Okay, so now you're gonna take about two teaspoons of minced garlic and add that to the crock pot. We do big teaspoons of garlic around here, so you already know. And then we're gonna add about a half a cup of shredded carrots. Okay, next we are going to need about four cups of chicken broth. So I'm gonna measure that out right here. Measure it out to two, and then I'll do another two cups. This whole carton is probably two cups. I did not even think about that, but you know what? We're gonna measure it for the fun of it. Look at there. We could have just poured the whole container in. Leave it to me. All right, so we're gonna add our second two cups into the mix. And then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of ground thyme. All right, so once we have all of those ingredients in here, we're gonna go ahead and stir it around a little bit. And as far as the gnocchi, the spinach, and the heavy cream, we're gonna add that in about an hour before everything is done. Okay, so I am going to choose the high option for cooking this today. You can usually cook it on low if you want to, but we are in a time crunch. So I'm actually going to change this over to four hours low, and then at about the three hour mark, I will come in. Of course, I'm going to stir it up occasionally, but the three hour mark, I'm gonna come in and add my gnocchi, my heavy cream, and my spinach, and it will be good to go. Well, probably at about three and a half hours. The last 30 minutes, honestly, will probably be it. I'll just kinda of have to play it by ear, see how it looks, so stay tuned. It's already smelling so, so good. What do you think, Piper? And honestly, you could probably add some more carrots. I would recommend adding about a cup of shredded carrots. The more I look at it, it's like, oh, I might need a little more carrots. I may add some, I may not. I don't really feel like it, so we'll just see how it turns out. All right, I think it is about time to add in 
the rest of the goods. Let's see how we're doing over here in the crock pot. Looks like the chicken is falling apart pretty good. Still needs cooked a little bit longer, but I'm gonna go ahead and add in the rest of the ingredients and get those going. And then I will shred the chicken probably later on whenever I'm done. It'd be easier to shred now, but you know. So I've decided we're not gonna do all heavy cream. I'm gonna do about a half a cup of regular whole milk. Is that too much? Is that right? That's pretty perfect. And then I'm gonna take the rest of, well, not the rest, but I'm gonna fill it up to about two cups with heavy whipping cream. Yes. All right, now that we have our cream in there, we are going to add our gnocchi in. And I got this from Walmart, but you just need about 16 ounces. All right, I'm gonna try not to splatter this everywhere. <laughs> there it goes. Splish, splash, I was taking a bath. Okay, maybe I'll just pick it up by my hands and add it in. I thought I could just pour it in, but you know, guess it's not gonna work like that. Still splattering everywhere when I have a mess to clean up. I didn't even want to mop tonight. I guess I'm gonna have to. And then last but not least, you're gonna add about one cup of roughly chopped spinach. And then we're going to stir everything together as it cooks. But oh my goodness, I can already tell this is going to be so delicious. Hopefully the chicken will fall apart a little bit more too. It's getting more tender as we go. But we are going to pop the top back on the crock pot for about 30 more minutes and we should be nice and ready for a good bowl of chicken and gnocchi soup. All right, let's check it out. It's looking pretty good. Looks like it needs to cook a little bit longer though. I'm gonna shred this chicken up so the chicken will cook better and then I'll give it about 30 more minutes come back but so far so good okay hopefully this is our last check on this yummy goodness oh my goodness yes this is the Olive Garden copycat chicken and gnocchi soup I can't wait all right let's make us a bowl and see how it turns out. Ooh, yes. It looks delicious. See what it looks like here. And then, you know, when you go to Olive Garden and they ask you when to stop with the mozzarella cheese, I never want to ask them to stop. So, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit more. And that, my friends, is Olive Garden chicken and gnocchi soup. Okay, this is day two of our chicken and gnocchi soup, and y'all, it literally tastes exactly like Olive Garden. I've never made it this good before, so highly recommend the exact recipe. Okay, so today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my absolute favorite recipes of all time to make in the crock pot, and that is cheeseburger soup. So what you see right here is what you're gonna need for the recipe. You're gonna need about four potatoes. You're gonna need some celery, one pound of ground beef. You're gonna need probably a smaller onion than this. So I'll probably only use half. You're gonna need about a cup of shredded carrots. You're gonna need some sharp cheddar cheese or Velveeta cheese. I'm not a huge fan of Velveeta, so I always choose to go with the shredded cheddar. And then you're gonna need some all-purpose flour, some chicken broth, and some whole milk. Oh yeah, and a little bit of butter. So these are all the things you're gonna need. Just follow along as I make it and you'll see how much of everything you need and how you need to cook it. And of course, as always, I will have the recipes written out down below in the description box. And also you will need some dried basil and dried parsley flakes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop up my potatoes or dice them up, but you can choose to leave the skin on or off. I'm going to choose to leave the skin on, so that's what we're gonna do now.
Okay, now that I have all of my potatoes cut up, I'm gonna go ahead and add those to the crock pot. This right here is what you see. This is about how many it should look like. Now that I have my potatoes in there, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my onion. I did half the onion that I had because it was a little bit too big. I didn't need that much onion. Okay, so now all of our onion is ready. All right, now that we've added in our onion, we are going to chop up our celery. And in goes our celery. So after we've added our potatoes, our celery, and our onions, we're gonna add one cup of shredded carrots. We're going to add one teaspoon of dried basil. And then we're gonna add one teaspoon of dried parsley. Now we're gonna take three cups of chicken broth and pour it on top of all of our vegetables. Measure out two cups right here. So I have my two cups in there. I'm gonna add one more cup of chicken broth. Okay, so before I cover this up, I'm gonna kinda of try to even it out a little bit. You don't have to do this, but I just like to do this anyway. And then we're gonna add our lid, and you can either cook this on high for four hours or low for six to eight hours. Honestly, we're on a time crunch once again. Y'all know I like easy, fast recipes. This isn't so fast, but it's fast enough to be done for dinner time. So we're gonna cook just this part on four hours, and then we're gonna come back about 45 minutes before it's done and check it out, see how it's doing, and we'll add the rest of the stuff, so stay tuned. Okay, so we are about three and a half or so hours in, maybe almost four, and this is kind of what it looks like. The potatoes have started to soften up, so now we are ready to add in our cooked ground beef. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and brown up our meat. This is going to go into the crock pot with our already mixed in vegetables and chicken broth once this is all the way cooked. And then we are going to drain it and we'll use this pan again and I'll show you how we'll do that. This is pretty much the only part of the recipe that is not dump and go, but it doesn't take that long. And then when it's almost done, I like to use my little meat chopper. And this thing works wonderful. You can get them at Walmart. I have a black one I got from Walmart, and then I got this pink one off of Amazon, I believe. So I will try to link those below for you. Now, it's time to go drain the grease. All right, now that I have drained the grease, I'm gonna come over and I'm going to pour in all of my ground beef into the crock pot. And then we are going to reuse this pan for the flour, milk, and butter. You know what though? Let's give it a little stir in first. What do you think? Stir in all of that ground beef with the potatoes and pop the top right back on. Okay, so we're gonna take the same pan and rinse out, wipe out all the excess grease and anything that may be left over. I'm gonna try to use this pan since it's already hot. So now we are going to add about three tablespoons of butter. And then we're gonna let that melt. All right, once that's all melted, we're gonna add in one fourth a cup of all purpose flour and we're gonna cook it and stir it together until it's about golden brown. Usually it'll take about a minute for it to get that color. And this is what's going to thicken up your soup. I just added in two cups of milk and I'm just gonna whisk this all together. I'm also going to add in some salt and I want to add in some pepper. I 
All right, so now we have our flour, our butter, and our milk mixture, and it's ready to go into the crock pot. Once we have that mixture into the crock pot, we have our last step, and that's to add two cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Here's cup one, here's cup two. Once we've got all that in there, we're just going to stir everything together. And oh my goodness, it is looking so delicious. It actually looks perfect. As you can see, I put it on low and I'm gonna put the top back on it and just kind of let all of those things melt together and it'll be done in about 15 minutes. All right, so it's all done. I have it on warm right now, but check it out. It looks so delicious. I mean, if you could say anything look like cheeseburger soup, this is definitely what I would say. Cheeseburger soup, especially. <laughs> cheeseburger, cheeseburger soup is supposed to look like. Oh my goodness, so good. All right, I'm gonna get myself a bowl of this cheese burger soup. It looks so delicious. I cannot wait for the family to try it. Look at that, yummy. And yes, I did my nails in the meantime while I was waiting on this to finish cooking, so that's why my nails look different right now, so. If you were wondering. All right, thank you guys so much for watching another What's Her Dinner, a dump and go crock pot recipes, a slow cookers, all the things video. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you comment down below and let me know where you're from. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Yeah.